Hello, my name is Erin Feiger, and I'm a partner just like you, who's been using the Microsoft programs and tools for over a decade. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a location ID. I'm also going to explain the three reasons why you need to create location IDs inside your Partner Center account. When working with partners, one of the top questions I get asked is, why or when would I need to create a location ID? Or I'm being asked by Microsoft to create a local uh, location ID. Where do I go inside a partner center to do this? Let's go out to partner center portal so I can show you where to go to quickly add a business location. First, the global account admin or the uh, partner center account admin are the two roles that can create business locations inside your uh, partner center account. Once logged into partner center, in the upper right hand corner, click on the configuration wheel and go to account settings. You will automatically default to the legal information page. On this page, we're going to scroll down to the bottom to get to the business locations at a location section. Before we add a location, let's talk about those three reasons why you would create a location ID. The first would be for CSP. For every country in which you want to transact CSP in, you will need a location ID per country. The second would be for incentive programs. If you need the earnings from your incentive programs to route to individual payout profiles, then you will need to create a location ID for each of those payout profiles so that you can route the incentives earned into their specific accounts. The third would be a Microsoft subsidiary is asking you to specifically have an in-country location ID. So you need to come out to Partner Center to create that location ID so that the subsidiary can pick you as a managed partner um, to go to market with in that country. So let's go ahead and add that location. You can search for your company name or once you search for it, if it doesn't come up, you will have the ability to add that location manually. For every location you create, you can identify a specific primary contact. That person can be the same person for all of the location IDs, or it can be a different person. It really depends on the reason why you're creating that location and who the appropriate person is to support that location ID. Once you complete this information, hit add location. Microsoft will then go through the verification process before officially creating your location ID. If you create a location ID and you no longer need that location ID, you will need to submit a support ticket to the Partner Center uh, support team to have them delete that location ID. Before deleting that location ID, make sure that there is no more activity under that location ID and you truly no longer need that location ID. So the core tip of the day is less is more. Keep it simple. Don't come out to Partner Center and create a bunch of location IGs just because you're trying to represent every office location you have inside of your company. You really only want to create business location IDs when it represents something very specific to Microsoft, like CSP, incentive programs, or a Microsoft subsidiary is asking you specifically to have an in-country location ID. I hope you found this information to be helpful. I'm Erin Feiger, and thank you for joining me on this journey inside of Microsoft's Partner Center portal.